Today, I don't want to introduce you to the M8 Total Mix software, but rather I want to show you how you can use multiple audio interfaces simultaneously on a Mac. On Windows, you need additional software for that, but on a Mac, it can be done with built-in tools. For this, we go to the audio MIDI setup, which you can find under Applications in Utilities. And then in there, and I have actually already created one somewhere here, exactly here, this is what it looks like in the end. There's a Rode Wireless Go microphone in there and a Fireface 800 so I can record them together in Logic. And today I just wanna show you how that works. And then we'll also talk about the screen. So we can now go down here and click Ashton Plus. And there you can create an aggregate device and a multi-output device and connect with AirPlay. We now click on create an aggregate device. And here I can basically include all the ones I want to include. So I'll now add my Wireless Go, then I'll add my Fireface. And then I also want to include the have your iPhone with you. And now you can see up here that I have all three options as sub devices. The aggregate device can also be renamed if you. Can it be renamed? Okay, I thought, but of course, if you get in, you can rename it. Let's call it now, Rode Fireface iPhone RFI. Can you use that? No idea, and let's call it RFP. And now we see the input channels up here, which are then of course reassigned. The road are now one and two, and the first input on the Fireface is now input three, and the microphone from the iPhone is input 33 back here. You have to remember that, of course. You can also change the view here again. You can scroll down here or change it here as well. Then you might see it a bit better. And the same goes for the output channels. The Wireless Go has no output channels here and the microphone from the iPhone also naturally has no output channels. If we were to add the MacBook speaker here, it would switch again in the view, then it would come in here at the back and then those would be the channels one, two from the MacBook, but in my app or in my program, they would be 31 and 32. I'll just open Logic now and then show you how it looks there. And why did the question arise? The question actually came up because someone wants to use the Modix to route more outputs and that doesn't work right out of the box. That means you have to go via USB for that. And if you're already using a computer with another audio interface, you naturally need the ability to use two audio interfaces, namely the one you already have plus the Modex. So now you can go to settings at the top and then to audio. And now you see here that I already have my Rode RME combo as the input device. And here I can now also select the AFP combo. Should I just click on apply now here, then close it. Now my iPhone also registers the microphone. Click here to select. And if I more now here, I can now choose microphone or line and can now select the inputs here. And now I just have to make sure that down here, in my RFP. For example, inputs one and two are my road. I can't see that here now. I have to know that at this point and that the next inputs three and four, the inputs one and two are from my AME Fireface. And if I now want the iPhone, the inputs, then I have to look here in the list, phone down here. There's something wrong with the colors indeed, because you see here it's marked, it got stuck somewhere. Here the 33, if I were to select input 33 now, that would be my iPhone microphone. And this way you can easily chain multiple interfaces together, connect if you want to delete it, just click on it again. On minus and poof, it's gone. It works and we'll also be dealing with total mix, of course. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like. 